بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ناؤ وی اسٹارٹ وی واٹ ریڈنگ پیسج اینڈ وین ایور یو اسٹارٹ ریڈنگ پیسج اسٹارٹ اٹ ہیپیلی ایکسائٹیڈلی اوکے یس بیکاز وین یو اسٹارٹ اٹ ایکسائٹیڈلی یور انرجی لیول ول بی گڈ آئی نو دیر آر سم کوشچنس دیٹ کین ڈرین یور برین رائٹ بٹ یو شوڈ سی ہاؤ ٹو ڈیل ود دیم اینڈ آل دیٹ سو ان ٹو ڈیز سیشن وی ول سالو ون کمپلیٹ ٹیسٹ فورٹی آؤٹ آف فورٹی کوشچنس and we will see how to deal with them in actual exam all right uh, the first thing is you need to read and understand the question the second thing is question will take you to the passage where there is the answer and i'll tell you how i mean question will be the navigation guide it will take you to the part of the passage paragraph sentence where there is the answer and then there are certain tricks i will tell you type a questions type b questions where questions and answers are in order where they are not in order and all that so be attentive and you have to repeat this test at home after me with all 40 questions okay now title bats to the rescue bats you know bats you might be thinking it's the cricket bat now It's the other one. What do we call bat in Urdu? Cham gadar, Punjabi. Cham, cham chidi. Okay, cham chidi in Punjabi. And then they say, how Madagascar's bats are helping to save the rainforest. Bats are helping to save the rainforest. Now, it means they will talk about the benefits of bats. They will talk about the advantages, benefits of bats and how bats are rescuing the rainforest in Madagascar. Have you seen any documentary about rainforest or anything? Yeah, otherwise just imagine a forest where it rains a lot, full of water and all that. Okay, your imagination. Sometimes students say, we cannot concentrate. It's difficult to concentrate IELTS reading. So for them... It is a good idea to visualize whatever you read. And you know, the readers who read books, they always visualize. Whenever you read something, you visualize. So if you visualize, you will understand better. But for visualization, it is important to understand what you read. That's the main problem. Many students can read English, but what they read, they don't understand. Right? Then they say, kenda kiye? Yeah, then they read again, then they focus. So please remember one thing. There are three type of words which can help you understand the sentences. Number one, verbs. Because verb is an action word. So verb will tell you what action is going on in the sentence. Second is noun. And nouns are common nouns, proper nouns. Proper nouns you know very well. It can be the name of a place, person, thing and all that. And common nouns usually you know, but if there is anything new, they define that as well. And the third one is adjective. So if you only focus and understand verbs, nouns and adjectives, you can understand 70% of the passage. Okay. And by the way, you don't need to understand 100% passage because you will not read 100% passage. You will only read, if it is part one, you will read 13 points or 13 sentences in the passage and you will be able to find the answer. Now, total sentences can be 150 sentences, 80, 90 sentences, but you are going to read only 13 sentences because there are 13 questions. So let's start. After reading the title <clears throat> and the subtitle and switching on your imagination, you are going to come to this question. Questions 1 to 6, and the question type is true, false, not given. Now, this is very tricky for many students, and true, false, not given may appear in part one, part two, part three, and there are only three parts in IELTS reading, okay? So don't say part four, okay? So I will not be very fast today. I'll go on, and you have to be with me. We will go along together. We'll get along together. Now, in true, false, not given, there is a word or a phrase which is going to decide whether the answer is true, false, or not given. The first thing is, when you read the sentence, you have to find two things. Number one, you have to find a clue word. Number two, you have to find the word or a phrase which is going to decide whether the answer is going to be true, false, or not given. Okay? So, let's see. Question number one. Many Madagascan forests are being destroyed. Underline many. 
many madagascan forests are being destroyed by attacks from insects now listen if many forests are being destroyed by attacks from insects answer is true if not insects there is some other species of animals not insects and many madagascan forests are being destroyed by them then it is false and if many madagascan forests are being destroyed by human activity not by insects even then the answer is false and if they don't tell us how many madagascan forests are being destroyed by insects by human by any other animals they don't mention that then the answer is not given got it so whenever you read the question you're going to read it like that now let's go on madagascan forests and uh, by the way true false not given is type a question type a means questions and answers are in order in a sequence and usually when they give you one to six questions one to five sentence completion true false not given usually start searching the answer from the first paragraph okay now let's go to first paragraph can you see madagascan forests second line this is what we call location what do we call it location of the answer in the passage so if you reach the right location after reading one to two sentences you will find the answer if you are at the wrong location this is how ielts reading goes out of your control then you read another paragraph then you read another passage another line and at the end you guess and you go on okay now we are clear we are going to look for how many madagascan forests are being destroyed and see that i still remember the question you know how because i imagined i imagined madagascan forest i imagined insects i imagined destruction so you are imagine because when you do ielts reading there will be pin drop silence in examination room so you can just do it on your own right now let's read second line Madagascar's forests are being uh, converted to agricultural land at a rate of 1% every year. Much of this destruction, much of means many. Much of this destruction is fueled by the cultivation of the country's main staple cro crop and that is rice. And a key reason for this destruction is that insect pests are destroying vast quantities uh vast quantities of what is grown by local subsistence so and a key reason for this destruction who is destroying it no let's come to third sentence much of this destru destruction is fueled by the cultivation of country's main staple crop rice now how are they destroying because they want to grow rice so they are cutting the forest and they are growing rice over there they said much of this destruction is fueled by much of it is fueled by cultivation now what is what is insect let's read it and a key reason for this destruction is that insect pests insect pests are destroying vast quantities of what is grown by local subsistence farmers now insect pest what is pest it's the medicine that kills pesticide pest and pesticide so, so it's not the insects it's the farmers who are chopping down the madagascar forest for the purpose of cultivating rice okay so what is the answer many madagascan forests are being destroyed by attacks from insects no they use the word insect pests but they are being destroyed by human activity and that is cultivation for rice hence the answer is false right just underline that sentence question right there question number 1 when you go back home practice read again even read 10 times unless a voice comes from your inside acha you know sometimes when the power fails and after some time after 1 to 2 hours the power restores some people shout cheerfully shukr eh something like and some people abuse <laughs> okay when the power fails they abuse when it restores they abuse but anyways so you do, you're not going to abuse you find the answer and you abuse in the exam oh in no the sc the tc something like that question number 2 loss of habitat now underline loss of habitat habitat means place to live 
okay for animals where they live that is their habitat loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats okay insectivorous bats are the bats that eat insects loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats in madagascar now listen loss of habitat has badly affected the bats loss of habitat means now bats don't have place to live and that has actually affected insectivorous bats in madagascar insectivorous means bats that eat different type of insects now we go back exactly third last line okay see that now questions and answers are in sequence third last line the result is devastating habitat clue word is habitat and the other one the result is devastating habitat and biodiversity loss on the island but not all species are suffering okay let's read on in fact some of the islands insectivorous bats are currently thriving thriving means they are struggling to exist and this has important implications for farmers and conservationists alike so the bats are they suffering from it no they are not suffering from it come back to the questions loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats has it affected insectivorous bats no it is not please come back let's read again some of the islands insectivorous bats are currently thriving currently thriving means they are still living happily and it has not affected them currently thriving means they are not being affected so question number 2 loss of habitat has badly affected no they are currently thriving it's the opposite hence the answer is false let's go on question number 3 ricardo rocha now what is this clue word ricardo rocha names are the best clue words sometimes numbers are the best clue words so ricardo rocha has carried out studies of bats in different parts of the world just underline different parts of the world that's it now look here if he's done the research in one city one part of the world answer will be false if they say he's done this study in asia europe america and australia these are different parts of the world then the answer will be true and if they don't tell us they tell us about his study but they don't tell us whether it was in different parts of the world or same part then it will be not given now look for ricardo rocha wow see that how systematically it's going on so ricardo rocha he is passionate i'm reading second paragraph first line he is passionate about conservation and bats more specifically he is interested in how bats are responding to human activity and deforestation in particular rocha's new study now be active answer is in this sentence rocha's new study shows that several species of bats are giving madagascar's rice farmers a vital pest control service by feasting on plague of insects now have they mentioned anything that this study is related to one area or different areas of the world no so the answer is not given why not given because different parts of the world has not been mentioned clear again i'm saying underline the line the sentence where there is the answer write question number down there and then you can practice let's go on question number 4 habitat modification <coughs> habitat modification means change in place of living habitat modification has resulted in indigenous bats in madagascar becoming useful to farmers now habitat modification what has it done indigenous bats mean the bats that belong to that area yeah. all right yeah so habitat modification has resulted in indigenous bats in madagascar becoming useful now listen if due to habitat modification bats are becoming useful to farmers answer is true if despite habitat modification bats are not useful then it is false and if they don't tell us whether they are useful or useless then not given so habitat modification look for 
modification. Okay. All right. Okay, let's just focus this thing, second paragraph. Please come to the second paragraph. Second paragraph, and we read it from third line. Rocha's new study shows that several species of bats are giving Madagascar's rice farmer a vital pest control service. Now, what is pest control service? Bats are eating the insects or pests. Bats are eating the Pests. So what is it? Just read it again. Rocha's new study shows that several species of bats are giving Madagascar's rice farmers a vital pest control service by feasting on plague of insects. And this, he believes, can ease the financial pressure on farmers to turn forest into field. Now, we are just concerned about habitat modification resulted in indigenous bats, Madagascar, becoming useful to farmers. So can you see anything related to habitat modification? Let's go on to fourth paragraph. OK. Uh, fourth paragraph, which line? Yeah, we've got habitat modification. Absolutely. Let's read it from the beginning. Co-leading an international team of scientists, Rocha found that several species of indigenous bats are taking advantage of habitat modification to hunt insects swarming above the country's rice field. Absolutely. So the answer is true. Exactly. So the clue word was habitat modification result in indigenous bats of Madagascar becoming useful to farmer. Now, by the way, what is the phrase for becoming useful to farmer? Read it, read it. Hunt insects swarming above the country's rice fields. So when they are eating insects, they are becoming useful to farmers because farmers want these insects to be eaten or controlled and all that. Okay, so the answer is true. Please come back to question number five. Malagasy mouse-eared bat. It's the name of the bat. So the clue word is Malagasy mouse-eared bat is more common than other indigenous bat species in Madagascar. Now listen, if, Mal uh, if Malagasy mouse-eared bat is more common than other ones, answer is true. Try to understand. Listen now, listen. Whenever in true, false, not given, they use the word then. T H a and then. Then means comparison. They compare two things. So if, like they say, Malagasy mouse-eared bear is more common. Is If this mouse-eared bear is more common, then the other one answer is true. If the other one is more common than the mouse-eared answer is false. And if they don't tell us which one is more common or less common, then it is not given. So whenever they give you comparative sentence in true, false, not given, this is what you guys need to check. Now let's go back. It's the same fourth paragraph. I'm going to read it from uh, third line. They include Malagasy mouse-eared bat, midges long-fingered bat, the Malagasy white-bellied free-tailed bat, and Peter's wrinkle-lipped bat. Now, have they given us any comparison that which one is more common or less common? Hence, the answer is not given. Got it? So whenever they use comparatives, then as compared to this, that, then you have to check. English, please. Uh, it is also possible, but as I mentioned, in true, false, not given questions and answers are going to be in the order. So you will just go on like this, okay? Uh, all right, let's go on. Question number six. Bats may feed on paddy. What is paddy? Rice field. Yeah, the, the dhan, what we call it. Bats may feed on paddy swarming caterpillars. Now, it means bats can eat paddy swarming caterpillars and grass webworms. Now, if they can eat, listen, listen. 
when they give two and if they say well bats can easily eat peri swarming caterpillars but they don't like eating grass web worms if they give two things one they like to eat second they don't answer will be false right if they eat both answer will be true and if they don't like both or, or if they don't mention whether they like or they feed or not then it is not given now the clue word is peri swarming caterpillar caterpillar and grass web worms so very good let's read second last paragraph of this page uh these winner species are providing a valuable free service to madagascar as biological pest suppressors says rocha we found that six species of bat are preying on rice pests including the paddy swarming caterpillar and grass webworm so they are included hence the answer is true got it and if they mentioned one not the other one then it could be false good uh it depends right if the first question type is type a then start from there otherwise start from type a whenever wherever there is type a okay guys question 7 to 13 complete the table below choose one word only from the passage for each answer now table completion questions and answers are going to be in order usually part 1 is the a part where we have two main type of questions true false not given and sentence completion and both question types are type a type a means questions and answers are in order okay now let's read the question the study carried out by rocha or roca or whatever okay listen never care about your pronunciation in ielts reading because you are reading to yourself koi mazak bhi nahi udayega okay and and one more thing always read in your heart no lip sync you cannot read like this the study carried out by rocha's team aimed in winner okay not like this you will read like this hmm yeah you will read like this means you will not produce any noise because even whispering is not allowed right yeah some students told me they were whispering and the invigilator came and said shh yeah all right okay let's go on the study carried out by rocha's team now aim there is no question but can you guys see there is the word rano mafina national park underline that because this can help you rano mafana national park now method let's read the question ultrasonic recordings now read question number 7 dna what's the clue word DNA. wow dna analysis of bat dash look it's going to be something related to bat it can be the part of bat's body or it can be something related to bat dna analysis of bat for example dna analysis of bat's hair dna analysis of bat's eyes or anything like that so let's go back dna is the clue word second page first paragraph you will find dna there and it is also possible that you find dna on a number of different locations okay so then you need to check what is the conte context of dna now second page first paragraph i am going to read the last sentence they next used dna barcoding techniques to analyze droplets collected from bats droplings collected from bats means bats droplings yeah so the answer is yeah dropping sorry dropping collected from bats that means bats dropping okay for example food collected from animals animals food right so the answer is droppings and one more thing whenever you have to write a word from the passage please copy it 100% for example droppings plural just try droppings don't try to temper the word whatever the word is write the word as it is okay let's go on next is findings in findings you can see the word located on hills and then can you see the word question number 8 please come to question number 8 findings eight pests of rice 
डैश शुगर केन नट्स एंड फ्रूट वट्स द क्लू वर्ड शुगर केन नट्स फ्रूट सो प्लीज लुक फॉर शुगर केन नट्स फ्रूट एंड द फोर्थ वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी योर आंसर शुगर केन नट्स फ्रूट शुगर केन नट्स फ्रूट एब्सल्यूटली सेकेंड पैराग्राफ सेकेंड लास्ट लाइन ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज फॉलो second paragraph second last line there you can see these words so i am going to read it from fourth last line whenever you find the word find the last full stop and start from there while the findings indicated found it okay while the findings indicated that rice farming benefits most from the bats the scientists also found indications that the bats were consuming pests of other crops including the black twig borer which infests coffee plants sugar cane cicada the uh, meremia nut borer and the sober tabby that is pest of citrus fruit so which word is missing yeah the word which is missing is coffee plants and how many words are we supposed to write one word now will we write coffee or will we write plants coffee why because they mentioned the word sugar cane nuts and fruit okay sugar cane nuts and fruit now they mentioned here uh, which infest coffee plants sugar cane that is already mentioned and then for nut they use that technical word macadamia and sober tabby a pest of citrus fruit so sober tabby is a fruit okay so correct answer is only and only coffee now instead of coffee don't write cafe okay because i like cafe i will write cafe sorry it doesn't matter it doesn't matter listen listen just focus the word rice sugar cane nuts and fruit so when you are not writing technical terminologies and you are supposed to write one word i read this again second last line please follow me black twig borer which infests coffee plants okay then sugar cane cicada that is for sugar cane uh macadamia nut borer that is for nut and then and the sober tabby a pest of citrus fruit that is for fruit so fruit is mentioned sugar cane is mentioned nut is mentioned coffee is missing hence coffee is your answer clear all right let's go on question number 9 please prevent now these are the findings and answers are in sequence prevent the spread of disease by eating dash and black flies so answer will come with black flies they eat black flies and dash look for black flies okay black flies and you can see it's third last paragraph third last paragraph everyone found it okay so i'm just going to read it from uh, second line associated with spreading disease disease is mentioned here let's go on Roca and his team found evidence that Malagasy bats feed not just on crop pests but also on mosquitoes carries carriers of malaria rift valley fever virus and elephantiasis as well as black flies now with black flies what is the other word they have mentioned mosquitoes so the correct answer is going to be mosquito singular or plural yes as they mentioned in the passage and by the way with and the other word black flies is plural so you should write plural mosquitoes and be careful with the spelling when you copy see you found the answer and because of careless spelling mistake it's wrong what a pity and one wrong answer will decrease your band score from 7 to 6.5 from 8 to 7.5 be careful let's go on local attitudes to bats are mixed they provide food rich in now listen 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 what do they mean by they no they means bat listen they say local attitudes to bats are mixed they they means bats provide food what does it mean some people eat bats see that's what people believe this came uh, okay i'll not say anything about it leave it so they provide food now listen bats 
provide food and that food is rich in something. Now imagine bat is meat. So meat provides? Absolutely, that is the answer. Go back and find it. Second last paragraph, Rocha points out that the relationship is complicated. When food is scarce, bats become a crucial source of protein for local people. What does it mean? Local people eat bats with tomato ketchup. <laughs> All right, you say you're eating a sandwich. Someone asks you, what sandwich are you eating? Bat sandwich. All right, barbecue. Which barbecue? Bat barbecue. Okay, what is the, this, this soup about? Bat soup. All right, okay, I'm feeling bad. So the answer is protein. Source of protein for local people and this protein comes from bats. This is how they believe this COVID-19 started. Yeah. Anyways, let's go on. Question number 11. The buildings where they roost, they means? Absolutely. And you should be clear about this thing. Whenever they use the word they, them, this, you should be clear about that. The buildings where they roost become, what do they become? What do those buildings become? Let's go back. Same paragraph. Yeah, third, I'm, I'm reading it from a uh, second line. Even the children found it. Uh, it's the second last paragraph, second line, please follow me. Even the children will hunt them, and as well as roosting in trees, the bats sometimes roost in buildings. Now be careful. But are not welcome there because they make them. Them means buildings. Again, see, this is very important to see where do they or them goes. They make them unclean. So buildings become unclean. Answer is unclean. Got it? Let's go on. Question number 12. They play. What do they mean by they? Bats, chamchita, uh, and all that, okay? Bats play an important, and, and you can do one thing. Read it as bats play for your understanding. Otherwise, they play, they play, you'll not understand that. Bats play an important role in local dash. Go back. Local. And by the way, for local, they use the word people. Same paragraph, read after unclean. Found it? At the same time, Milgya, please follow me. At the same time, however, they are associated with, with sacred caves and the ancestors, so they can be viewed. They means bats can be viewed as beings between words, which makes them very significant in the culture of the people. That means local culture. Culture of the people means Local culture. Answer is? Why not people? Yeah, local is already there for people. So answer is culture. Last thing, recommendation. Farmers should provide special, underline the word special. For special, sometimes they use specific or any other word like that. Farmers should provide special dash to support the bat population. Now, let's come back, same paragraph, last two lines. Farmers should provide. Look for the word farmers or anything like that. And what is it that they should provide? Second last paragraph, second last line, Rocha says, found it? Yes. Everyone found it, Rocha says? With the right help, we hope that farmers can promote this mutually beneficial relationship by installing that Houses. Now listen, who is going to provide bad houses? Farmers. And by the way, for provide, they use the word by installing bad houses. Now listen, 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 listen. What will be the answer? Exactly. It is not going to be bad because it's one word only. So farmers should, support, uh, should provide special houses to support the bad population. So bat is already mentioned. That is why answer is only houses. And you must follow this thing carefully. If you write bat houses out of excitement, you know, I found the answer. Yeah, I'll write bat also full answer. Okay, that full answer will be the reason for the wrong answer. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys, now we've got academic reading passage two. 
Okay, reading passage two. Does education fuel economic growth? Very important. Does education fuel economic growth? What does it mean? That if people are educated, economy will be strong, right? So does education fuel economic growth? Question mark. And you see A, B, C, D. These A, B, C, Ds are very dangerous. Whenever there is A, B, C, D, there will be type B questions. And what, is, what are two type B questions? Number one, which paragraph contains the following information and list of headings? And whenever you get list of headings and which paragraph contains the following information, do them at the end of that section, not in the beginning. Because for these question types, you need to do scanning. Scanning around the full passage. And that scanning will eat all your time, all your energies, your brain will be exhausted and then type A questions you will not be able to do properly. Always try to do type A questions first and by doing type A questions you will be familiar with the passage and then type B questions are going to be easier for you. Now let's come to the questions. Huh. Questions 14 to 18. Which section contains the following information? Are we going to start from here? How many questions? Five questions. And these five questions have the ability to take your 15 minutes. And then at the end, you'll be exhausted. So the good thing is you need to start from questions 19 to 22. They are four questions and they are type A. Then you can do 23 and 24. They are also type A. And then you can do 25 and 26. And after that, you can come back to 14 to 18. Now, questions 19 to 22. Complete the summary below. Question type is summary completion. Choose one word from the passage for each answer. Demographic reconstruction of two German communities. Now, let's go back and we look for German communities. Demographic reconstruction of two German communities. Yeah, demographic reconstruction is mentioned in paragraph D for doctor who lived in these two German communities. Got it? Clear? Now see that we easily found the paragraph which contains the answer. How? Because we read the title demographic reconstruction of two German communities. Got it? So finding the location in the passage where there is the answer is crucial. If you do that, then you will be able to manage your time. Otherwise, time management is the very serious issue in IELTS reading. One student said, I can do IELTS reading in two hours, three passages, then I can find 30 answers. And if I do one hour, one hour, mein to ek passage hi mushkil se hota hai. for some students, this is true, not for all. So if you read 14 sentences for 14 questions, then IELTS reading is fun. And if you read all the passage for 14 questions, then it is a nightmare. Okay. Anyways, let's start. We read questions. The database that uh, Ojilvi uh, and her team, now this is the name, okay, don't worry, just read as, as it is, or as you can. And her team has compiled sheds light on the lives of a range of individuals as well as their dash. Now listen, lives of individuals as well as their. Now listen, again referencing, IELTS reading is full of referencing. Their means something related to individuals, lives of individuals and their business, lives of individuals and their families, lives of individuals and their something. And then they use the word over a 300 period. Now 300 is a very good clue. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay. Very good across 300 periods. So now I'm going to read it from third line. We can follow. Found it? Yes. Okay. Paragraph D for doctor, third line. We can follow the same people. Same people means individuals. For people, they use the word individuals and their descendants. So individuals and their descendants across 300 years. What will be the answer? Absolutely, because for individuals, they use the word people and their descendants. And be careful with the spelling. 
Don't write the wrong spelling, okay? Descendants across 300, and there they use the word over a 300 year. Now, let's go on. <clears throat> I'm reading question number 20. For example, please follow me. For example, Anna Regina and Magdalena, and then the name, and if the names, you know, th these are German names. Don't try to read them. If the names are hard to read, only read the first syllable. How? Anna Reg, Mag Re, Mag Re. I'm reading Mag Re, okay? Uh, were uh, reprimanded, means punished or chastised, reprimanded for reading while they should have been paying attention to a dash. Now listen. Two girls, they mentioned the name, they were punished for reading while they had to do something else. They were not supposed to read, they were supposed to do something else. Because of that, they were punished. Let's go back. Look for these names. Exactly. I mean, fourth line, individual lives have unfolded before their eyes. Stories like that of 24-year-old Anna, got it? And Magdalena... Who were chastised? Chastised means reprimanded, punished. punished in 1707 for reading books in church instead of listening to? So they did not listen to sermon. They read books and they were chastised. Answer is sermon. Very good. S-E-R-M-O-N. Clear? Yeah, to all? Good. And you know, these type of things will take time to develop. Once you solve one test, you will not be clear. Another, 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 at least 10 to 15 tests, then you will start understanding these concepts, okay? Let's go on. There was also Juliana who came to the notice of the Weaver's Guild in the year 1752. The clue word is? 1752 for breaking gu uh, guild rules as a punishment see she was later given a dash what was punishment she was given something as a punishment let's go back she was given something as a punishment same paragraph can you see the word 1752 Okay, I'm reading from there. I'm reading from 1752 by the local weavers, guild for weaving cloth and combing wool counter to the guild ordinance. Now, if you don't understand these difficult words, don't worry at all. Just read on. When Juliana continued taking jobs reserved for male guild members, she was summoned before the guild court and told to pay a... What was punishment? That fine, told to pay a fine equivalent to one third of the servant's annual wage. What's the question? The question is, as a punishment, she was later given a fine. Right? F-I-N-E, fine. This is not that fine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay? This fine is the other fine you pay when you do something wrong. Okay. Cases like this illustrate, cases like this means the cases they mentioned before, illustrate how the guilds could prevent dash and stop skilled people from working. Prevent. Look for the word prevent. For prevent, they might use the word stop or anything else. Same paragraph, prevent. Yes, yeah, same paragraph, second last line. Please follow me. The dominance of guilds not only prevented, now focus, not only prevented people from using their skills, but also held back, underline held back, even the simplest industrial innovations. Now, by the way, for prevent, they use the word held back, even the simplest industrial innovations. Simplest industrial innovations. What will be the answer? could prevent innovations and stop skilled people from working. So why not? Okay, now listen. They've given three words here. And those three words are simplest industrial innovations. Now look here. Most of the time, in the blanks, answer is supposed to be a noun. And to confuse you with that noun, sometimes they give one adjective, sometimes they give four adjectives. Beautiful white friendly innocent cat answer is cat but some pole badsha 
they will write friendly <laughs> they will write innocent they will write white and all that so over here they mention simplest industrial innovation and by the way held back means prevent okay all right thank you answer is innovation okay guys now let's start questions 23 and 24 we call these questions double multiple choice questions uh, listen whenever we have double multiple choice questions in IELTS reading uh, answers are usually in one paragraph sometimes they are grouped together sometimes in two parts of one paragraph and sometimes it is also possible that they are in two separate paragraphs right but they are going to be in order now I tell you what to do first of all you will read the question and find the clue word so that when you go to the passage you should locate the first target is to locate the part of the passage that contains the question so let's read questions 23 and 24 please follow me choose two letters a to e write the correct letters in boxes 23 and 24 which two of the following statements does the writer make about literacy rates in section b wow they have given us section also okay so which of the following statements does the writer make about literacy rates in section b now please come to section b and two statements and statements are usually in inverted commas usually not always but usually so anyways can you guys see first inverted commas they start from between 1600s yes. and second modern cross country found it okay now i'm going to read please follow me paragraph b fourth line between 1600 and 1900 found it yes. now let's read this carefully between 1600 and 1900 England had only mediocre literacy rates by European standards yet its economy grew fast and it was the first country to industrialize now what did they say literacy rates were mediocre, mediocre. but they, they were uh, they were the first country to industrialize during this period, Germany and Scandinavia had excellent literacy rates, but their economies grew slowly. You got the idea? Now please come back. Option A. Very little research has been done into the link between high literacy rates and improved earnings. Not so far. B. Literacy rates in Germany between 1600s and 1900s were very good literacy rates were come back come back come back please come back they said during this period germany and scandinavia had excellent literacy rates literacy rates were excellent but that economic growth was not that good just focus this sentence it's the fourth last sentence during this period found it during this period germany and scandinavia had excellent literacy rates and that is literacy rates in germany between 1600 and 1900 were very good for very good they use the word excellent so this is the first correct answer once you find once one correct answer now wait now we read the second part and then we will read on so please come back to the passage I'm reading it from third last line. Modern cross-country analysis. Found it? Yes. It's the third last line, paragraph B, because they mentioned section B already. Modern cross-country analysis have also struggled to find evidence that education causes economic growth, even though there is plenty of evidence that growth increases education, she adds. Now, one thing, education causes economic growth and other thing economic growth causes education let's go on let's come back to the past to the questions paragraph c there is strong evidence that high literacy rates in the modern world result in economic growth they didn't mention this thing it was actually the opposite by the way it was the opposite option d england is a good example of how high literacy rates help a country industrialize no 
in england literacy rate was low and it became industrialized country so see that elimination odd options should be out option e economic growth can help to improve literacy rates and come back please economic growth can help to improve literacy rates and they mentioned uh, education causes economic growth even though there is plenty of evidence that growth increases education right so growth increases education that means economic growth can help to improve literacy rate literacy rate means education so correct answer for question number 23 and 24 is b for boy e for elephant and you can write in any order for example 23 b 24 e that is what i recommend but if you write 23 e 24 b even then they will be right clear okay now let's go on questions 25 and 26 choose two letters a to e write the correct letters in the boxes which two of the following statements does the writer make in section f about gills in german speaking central europe gills in german speaking central europe between 1600 and 1900 section f two statements about gills in german speaking central europe between 1600 and 1900 so where is it paragraph f now see that paragraph f and there are two answers here let's read it from fourth lines you said third line comma is there german speaking central europe is an excellent uh, laboratory for testing theories of economic growth she explains now what what does she explain it's the excellent laboratory you can check it there and what can you check there excellent laboratory for testing theories of economic growth she explains right between 1600 and 1900 literacy rate and book ownerships were high and yet the region remained poor now let's go back to the questions literacy rate high and region became poor and they are the good laboratories for economic growth option a i'm reading the questions now option a they help young people to learn a skill no not until now option b they were opposed to people moving to an area for work no option c they kept better records than guilds in other parts of the world no option d they opposed practices that threatened their control over a trade not until now option e they predominantly consisted of wealthy merchants no let's read more if you don't find any option then you got to read more so let's go on we are going to read some more here okay i'm reading it it was also the case that local guilds please follow me here it was also the case that local guilds found it okay let's read on it was also the case that local guilds and merchant associations were extremely powerful and legislated against anything that undermined their monopolies so what was powerful merchant associations the trader trader associations okay they were so extremely powerful and legislated legislated means they made laws against anything that determined their monopolies uh, and then they say in village throughout the region guilds blocked labor migration people were not allowed to go from one area to another and resisted changes that might re re reduce their influence now let's go back option b they were opposed to people moving to an area for work what is the word for that migration and what do they mean by they guilds in german speaking country they means guilds so they were opposed to people moving to an area for work that means migration first correct answer is b b not c okay c is they kept better records no option d they opposed practices that threatened their control over a trade come back to the passage they have mentioned here extremely powerful and legislated against anything that undermined their monopolies undermine their monopolies means undermine their power let's go back to the question 
ऑप्शन डी वेल डन दे अपोज प्रैक्टिस दैट थ्रेटन देयर कंट्रोल थ्रेटन देयर कंट्रोल मीन्स अंडरमाइन देयर मोनोपली थ्रेटन देयर कंट्रोल अंडरमाइन देयर मोनोपली ओवर आर ट्रेड सो डी इज द सेकेंड करेक्ट आंसर ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव बी फॉर बॉय क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स डी फॉर डॉक्टर All right. Yes. Okay. Questions fourteen to eighteen. Reading passage two has six sections A to F. Which section contains the following information? Now you guys are a little familiar with the passage. Okay. And by the way, this type of questions is type B. questions and answers are not in order you just have to scan the whole passage to find the answer how to do it read the question statement find a clue word look across the passage to find that clue word and there you will find the answer by the way it's just like that you need to find a needle from a haystack just a small thing from the whole passage anyways there is always one sentence which is going to match with these statements so question number 14 an explanation of the need for research to focus on individuals with a fairly consistent income look for income look for research individuals explanation of the need for research to focus on individuals with a fairly consistent income i give you hint paragraph d e f paragraph d e f please go and find look for the word income or anything like that paragraph e y okay all right now listen a uh, paragraph e everyone please come to paragraph e third line after full stop found it this involves following the lives of different people with the same level of wealth over a period of time let's go back let's read the question explanation of the need for research to focus on individuals with a fairly consistent income and what is the word for fairly consistent income same level of wealth over a period of time if wealth is consistent it is possible to discover whether education was linked or not so question number 14 because of individuals with a fairly consistent income and for that they use the word wealth is constant paragraph e is the right answer for question number 14 Okay now question number 15 examples of the sources the database has been compiled of now look for database sources compiled of database start from a b c examples of sources the database has been compiled exactly the first paragraph third line it includes court records now what is record it's database exactly it includes court records guild leaders a uh, guild ledgers a uh, parish register village consensus now what is this this is the example of yeah example of sources the database has been compiled of what are the sources sources are court records guild ledgers parish registers village consensus tax lists these are the sources that is why for question number 15 correct answer is a all right question number 16 you can find easily an account of one individual's refusal to obey an order there was one person who refused to obey the order we just read it somewhere account of one individual's refusal to obey an order go to paragraph d e f one individual refused to obey the order okay and that individual is juliana right 
database also reveals the case of Juliana. Juliana is individual, a 50 year old spinster living in the small. Found it, by the way? Milgay sabko paragraph D and in the middle. Just look for the word Juliana Schweich something. Okay, found it? Okay, so the database also reveals the case of Juliana, a 50 year old. 50 year old milgay sabko? Good. 50-year-old spinster living in the small black forest community of uh, Wildberg, who was reprimanded in 1752 by the local weavers guild for waving cloth and combing wool. So example of individual means Juliana. And why was she reprimanded? Because she was waving cloth and combing wool counter to the guild ordinance when Juliana continued taking jobs reserved for male guild members she was summoned before the guild court the job was for male members and she did that so she was summoned by the court and all that so question number 16 account account means they expressed of one individual that individual is Juliana refusal to obey an order question number 16 correct answer is D for doctor Question number 17, a reference to a region. Region means area. It can be the name of a city, country, or any part. A reference to a region being particularly suited to research into the link between education and economic growth. You, need, you know that already. Yes. yes, there they mentioned laboratory. They use the word laboratory. Reference to a region being particularly suited means it is the laboratory. Which paragraph is that? F. And what is the word over there? German speaking Central Europe is an excellent third line. German speaking Central Europe is an excellent laboratory for testing theories of economic growth and all that. Now, have you noticed one thing? If you complete other question types, sometimes you will find the answers automatically because you've read it all. So reference to a region being particularly suited, that is German speaking Central Europe. And they use the word laboratory for question number 17. Correct answer is F. Question number 18. Examples of the items included in a list of personal possessions. They included the items like gold, mobile phone, camera, other household accessories. Examples of the items. Examples of the items included in a list of personal possessions. Personal possession means Zati Malkiyat. Examples of the items. And what are those items? All right. If you read, if you read paragraph C, in the handwritten inventories that uh, uh, Oglevi is analyzing are the belongings of women and men at marriage, remarriage and death, from badger skins to Bibles, sewing machines to scarlet bodices, the, the villages, villagers' entire worldly goods are included. Worldly goods, and what is the word for that? Personal possessions. Personal possession, worldly goods. They have given the examples of sewing machine and this and that. So for question number 18, correct answer is C. Okay? All right. All right, let's go on. Reading passage 3. <laughs> Temur Garyev, blindfold chess champion. Wow. Temur Garyev, blindfold means who blindfolds his eyes and he plays chess. Okay. Yeah, I think his name is there in Guinness Book of World Record as well. Temur Garyev, blindfold chess champion. You know chess is a game. This person is a champion of chess. And the specialty is he plays chess without looking at that. He's blindfolded. Blindfold means he's blindfolded and he plays chess. Right? Okay. That's interesting. You can Google him, but you don't have time. Again, passage is labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What does that mean? <laughs> that means Siapa. And that Siapa can be list of headings or which paragraph contains the following information? So what do we have? Which paragraph contains the following information? How many questions? Six questions and passage three. And usually students maximum have 20 minutes for passage three because of poor time management. What do they do? They waste all their time on passage one. 
according to me passage 1 should not take more than 15 minutes because in passage 1 type a questions are given passage 2 should take around 20 minutes and passage 3 should take around 25 minutes okay but anyways so we will do questions 27 to 32 first no we'll do them last right then questions 33 to 36 they are true false not given how many questions four type a questions and answers are in order and then we have 37 to 40 complete the summary below so four questions there i would advise you to start from summary completion then come to true false not given and at the end if you find time good otherwise to cause okay because you don't leave any blank so you just have to do the tukas and this is the time when they have final announcements when they announce candidates make sure you transfer your answers to the answer sheets invigilators come and they say answer transfer karo. answer your transfers to the answer sheet because this is their responsibility by the end if you fail to transfer the answers you will get one band yeah they will not check your question booklet this is question booklet you're holding in actual exam they will not check the question booklet they will only check the answer sheet if in one hour no answer is written on answer sheet you will get one band one band means non-user of english anyways let's start questions 37 to 40. choose one word only from the passage how the research was carried out okay Question number 37, the researchers started by testing Gary's or whatever his name is. How do, has anybody heard his name? Gary, okay, we call him Gary. Let's call him Gary, okay, no problem. The researchers started by testing Gary's dash. For example, he was required to recall a string of dash. Now let's see researchers. Look for the word researchers and how they started researchers absolutely fine for researchers they use the word scientists this is how they play and the good thing is you will find all the answers in order in paragraph f and paragraph g so the scientists first had gary's performance some standard memory test now listen the scientist first so what did they do first they had some standard memory tests. Now come back. Come back. Now we have three words. Three words. Standard memory tests. Which word will be the answer? Exactly. Because for tests, they use the word testing Gary's memory. You cannot write testing Gary's standard. That will be wrong. Correct answer is memory. And those who write standard, they will be double confident. Standard is the right answer. I've written here. Remember one thing, wrong answer will not, uh, will not give any sense. Logically, grammatically, ethically, wrong answer will never give any sense. So the first correct answer is 37. And for example, now this is linked. In one sentence, if there are two blanks, it means answer is very close. Right? For example, he was required. What do they mean by he? Gary, absolutely. He was required to recall a string of dash in order. A string of dash in order. Come back. Memory test. These assessed his ability to hold numbers, pictures, and words in mind. Ability to hold numbers, pictures, and words in mind. Now come back. What will be the right answer? He was required, for example, he was required to recall, recall a string of dash in order and also in reverse order. So something in order and in reverse order. So let's see, they say here, these assessed his ability to hold numbers, pictures and words in mind. One classic test measures how many numbers as a person can repeat both forward and backwards. Absolutely. So what was that? Numbers in order and also in reverse order. What is the word for in order and in reverse order? Forward and backward. Now, for example, 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, blah, 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 like that. So answer is 
numbered. And how did you find this answer? Because they mentioned in order and also in reverse order. Question number 39. Although his performance was normal, scans showed an unusual amount of dash within the areas of Gary's brain. Unusual amount of dash. Unusual amount. Focus that. Unusual amount of dash. Let's read on. I'm reading it from paragraph F and uh, just let's read from uh, this one, two, three, four, sixth line. But next came, found it? But next came the brain scans because they use the word scan. Next came the brain scan. With Gary lying down in the machine, Risman looked at how well connected the various regions of the chess player brains were. Though, just a second, <laughs> that's not the answer. Though the results are tentative and yet unpublished, the scans found much greater than average, much greater than average communication. And what does that mean? That means unusual amount of. Now see the link. Unusual amount of much greater than average. Unusual amount of much greater than average they are synonyms they are rewording so answer is communication okay all good yeah let's go on the next one in addition the scans raise the possibility of unusual strength in the parts of his brain that deal with dash input. Underline the word input. Now listen. Answer is the part of a brain which deals with a type of input. Type of input. Paragraph G. Everyone please come to paragraph G. It was not the only hint of something special in Gary's brain. The scans also suggest Gary's visual network is more highly connected to other brain parts than usual. Initial results suggest that the areas of his brain that process visual images such as chess board may have stronger links to other brain. Now visual images such as chess boards may have stronger links to other brain regions and so be more powerful than normal. So what is the input? Visual, absolutely. Visual network is more connected and then stronger the links of other brains regions such as chessboard. So images of chessboard, they are visual inputs. Unusual strength in the parts of the brain that deal with. Parts of the brain that deal with. What is the word for that? Yeah, they use the word areas of his brain. For parts of brain, what is the word? Third line. Third, third line. Areas of his brain that process. That process means areas of the brain that deal with. Process means deal with. Process visual images. So the correct answer is visual. All right. Okay, guys. Now we have true, false, not given. And then in the end, we'll go to 27 to 32. True, false, not given. You are already familiar Within the statement, first we'll find clue word, then we'll find a word or a phrase which is going to decide whether the answer is true, false, or not given. Question number 33. In the forthcoming games, all the participants will be blindfolded. Underline forthcoming games. Now listen. Encircle the word all. Encircle the word all. What do they say? All the participants will be blindfolded. Now look here. If all the participants will be blindfolded, they use the word all 10 participants will be blindfolded. Blindfolded means right? So if they will be blindfolded, answer is true. If half will be blindfolded, half will not be blindfolded, or majority of them will be blindfolded, 9 out of 10 will be blindfolded, then the answer is false. And if they don't tell us, whether all or some or few, then the answer is not given. Now listen, 
it's true false not given questions answers are in order so you should start your search from paragraph a next month a chess player name temur will take on nearly 50 opponent at once how many opponents okay let's read carefully but that is not the hard part while his challengers will play the games as normal gary himself will be now other 50 players will they be blindfolded no they will play as normal only gary will be blindfolded so the correct answer in the forthcoming games all the participants will be blindfolded no only gary will be blindfolded and others will not be blindfolded answer is false see that you now understand the logic of false why it is false once you understand why it is false then it will become easier for you and over here the, they use the word all and by the way i have seen the word all in many true false not given whenever they use the word all you have to just check this thing only question number 34 gary has one competition in base jumping now listen base jumping is your clue word if he won competition answer is true if he participated but he lost answer is false and if they don't tell us whether he won or he lost then it is not given so gary has one competition in base jumping it's it's the same paragraph got it okay i'm reading it from fourth line 28 year old already stands found it please follow me everyone thoda sa reh gaya himmat kare fourth line 28 year old already stands out in the uh, rare field word of blind for chest he has a foundness uh, uh, for bright clothes and unusual hairstyles and he gets his kicks from adventure sport of base jumping that's it he has already proved himself a strong chess player now did they mention anything that gary has won a competition in base jumping no they only use this thing he gets his kicks from the adventure sports of base jumping but he won he lost there is no information on that that is why answer is false थैंक यू थोड़ा थोड़ा सा इंजॉय किया आपको झटका दिया हल्का सा ओके ये जो सोए हुए थे वो भी उठ गए नॉट गिवन इट इज नॉट गिवन वेल डन हा गेट इज किक किक का नहीं पता सलमान खान ने क्या बोला था कौन सी मूवी में बोला था कि किक मिल जाए बस किक मूवी का नाम भी किक था किक किसे कहते हैं किसे कहते हैं किक को मोटिवेशन मिल जानी शुरू में कोई रीजन मिल जानी किक मिल जाए ठीक है अब जब एक एक दोस्त थे उनकी शादी होनी थी ना तो मंगनी नहीं हो रही थी मंगनी हुई तो उनको किक मिल गई उसके बाद उन्होंने तीन कमेटियां डाली और जब तीसरी कमेटी निकली तो उनकी शादी हो गई नहीं नहीं इनका कोई ताल्लुक नहीं उससे तीसरी निकल आई थी ना और जहां जहां कमेटी डाली उनको कहा पहली मैं लेनी और रीजन भी बताया ठीक है और अब कहता है कि काश वो कमेटियां ना निकली होती ना ही मुझे मिलती तो अच्छा था क्योंकि फिर उसके बाद कमेटी टूट जाती है हाँ फिर जो है ना बड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है अच्छा जी लेट्स गो ऑन 34 answer is not given 35 ucla is the first wow this word first will decide ho gaya na asan ucla is first university to carry out research into blindfold chess players now look here if ucla is first university which is going to do that answer is true if it has already been done before then the answer is fall and if they don't tell us whether the university is smile first second or third then the answer is not given so u c l a excellent paragraph b u c l a i'm reading it from the middle researchers at the university of california in los angeles called him in for tests they now have their first results right and if you read before that in the hope of understanding i'm reading second line paragraph b second line in the hope of understanding how he and others like him can perform such mental feats researchers at university of california and los angeles called him in for test they now have their first results the first results listen the ability to play a game of chess with your eyes closed is not a far reach 
for most accomplished players said jess uh, risman who runs a memory lab at ucla but the thing that so remarkable about moore and few other individuals is the number of games they can keep active at once to me it is simply astonishing now come back ucla is the first university to carry out research the world first they did not mention whether that university is the first one for first they usually use the word ground breaking research ground breaking research means first university or first research so the world first is not given anywhere that is why the answer is not given very good and have you noticed one thing two not given you know two not given and then one false so the last one should be Uh, first research does not mean the first university to carry out research if we do a research and we do five experiments first experiment will first the result of first experiment will called first results second results third results but the research that was first second third fourth they didn't mention anything about that okay all right so 36 is और दो नॉट गिवन हो गए उन सारे ही नॉट गिवन कर दियो व्हाई नॉट गिवन मैनु लिया ही नहीं हाँ जो मुझे नहीं मिलेगा वो नॉट गिवन जिसको मैं चाहूंगा वो ट्रू जो मुझे पसंद नहीं आएगा वो फॉल्स एग्जैक्टली अपना ही दुनिया बना ले ओके गुड चेस प्लेयर्स आर लाइकली टू बी एबल टू प्ले ब्लाइंड फोल्ड चेस गुड चेस प्लेयर्स आर लाइकली टू बी एबल लाइकली टू बी एबल मीन्स दे कैन प्ले गुड चेस प्लेयर्स can play chess blindfolded now let's go back paragraph e for elephant very good accomplished means good we use the word accomplished cricketers accomplished footballer so for accomplished they use the word good chess players paragraph e for elephant all of you accomplished players can develop the skill of playing blind even without realizing it so what do they say good chess players are likely to be able likely to be able means can develop the skill likely to be able to play blindfold chess uh, can develop a skill of playing blind even without realizing it answer is true very good speaking ah oh, bade bade shahkar hai स्पीकिंग का टेस्ट ही भूल गया ज़्यादा कहता मुझे याद ही नहीं कि मेरा स्पीकिंग का टेस्ट था चलें स्टार्ट करें जी ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चंस 27 टू 32 रीडिंग पैसेज थ्री हैज एट पैराग्राफ्स आमतौर पे एट ही होते हैं सिक्स टू एट विच पैराग्राफ कंटेन्स द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन आउ सी दैट एट दिस स्टेज वी आर फेमिलियर विद द पैसेज we have read different paragraphs of the passage so these questions are going to be somewhat easier for us question number 27 a reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess earlier examples means in the past there was blindfold chess reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess go to paragraph a b c d a b c d look for the word 13th century 1947 earlier examples mean examples in the past now listen and keep in mind whenever they use the word earlier look for past times look for past tense look for past years so what are the past years mentioned here 13th century 1947 i'm reading paragraph d please follow me to the uninitiated blindfold chess seems to call for superhuman skill but displays of the feet go back centuries the first recorded game game means blindfold chess first recorded game in europe was played in 13th century florence in 1947 the argentinian uh, grandmaster miguel played 45 simultaneous games in the mid and all that so paragraph d contains reference to earlier examples of blindfold chess got it whenever they use the word earlier look for past time question number 28 outline of what blindfold chess involves they tell us 
in a paragraph and this paragraph is going to be somewhere where they give us the information one person is blindfolded and this and that outline of what blindfold chess involves go to paragraph a b c d e what blindfold chess involves an outline of what blindfold chess involves okay the correct answer is paragraph e right uh, and 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 it is it is given in the third line please follow third line from this regular players develop a memory for the pattern the pieces make the defenses and attacks you recreate in your mind said garys a lot of players are capable of doing it so what does it involve blindfold chase they mention the nature of the game is to run through possible moves in the mind to see how they play out from this regular players develop a memory for the patterns of pieces it involves this the defenses second thing and the third is attacks so for 28 question is an outline now what is the outline outline is patterns of pieces make the defenses and attacks so for question number 28 outline of what blindfold chest involves that is e okay 29 a claim that gary's skill is limited to chess a claim in one paragraph where they talk about other stuff also a claim that gary's skill is limited to chess that he can only play chess that blindfold he cannot play any other game he can only play chess blindfold chess a claim that gary's skill is limited to chess go go to paragraph f g h f g h f g h all right paragraph f please come to fifth line said risk man found it 1 2 3 4 fifth line in the middle said risk man mil gaya now let's read after that we didn't find anything other than playing chess that he seems to be supremely gifted at okay now what is this sentence we didn't find anything other than playing chess anything other means any other game that he seems to be supremely gifted at so 29 a claim that gary's skill is limited to chess got it see that one sentence and one sentence matched question number 30 why gary's skill is of interest of scientists a paragraph where they mention why gary's skill is of interest of scientist go to paragraph b c d paragraph b c d interest of scientist they use the word in the first line paragraph b but gary's prowess has drawn interest from beyond the chess playing community now what is beyond the chess playing community in the hope of understanding how he and others like him can perform such mental feats researchers got it now come back to question number 30 why gary's skill is of interest of scientists so for scientists they use the word researchers question number 31 an outline outline means list an outline of gary's priorities now what does he prefer what are his priorities outline of that go to paragraph f g h outline of his priorities h for the world record attempt please come to paragraph h for the world record attempt gary's hopes to play now the list of his priority what is that hopes to play 47 blindfold games at once in about 16 hours okay now what is next he will need to win 80% to claim the title so list of his priorities is he will play 47 blindfold games at once in about 16 hours 
and then he will need to win 80% of the claim, the title, and then he says, I don't worry too much about winning percentage. Yeah, that's it. So, question number 31, an outline of Gareth's priorities. And what are they? Gareth's hopes to play. Hopes to play means outline of his priorities. 47 blindfold games at once in about 16 hours. Question number 32, a reason why the last part of a game may be difficult. In one paragraph, they will give us the reason the last part of the game may be difficult. A reason. Paragraph E. Okay, come to paragraph E. And where is that reason? Uh, okay, paragraph E, and please come to second page. There they use the word end of game. That's what they used, a reason why the last part. Last part means end. So paragraph E, second page, and please come to third sentence. But the ends of games, found it? Okay, now what are the reasons? They mention, but the ends of games are taxing too, as exhaustion sets in. What is the reason? Exhaustion sets in. When Gareth is, is tired, another reason he is tired. His recall can get patchy. His recall memory gets patchy. He sometimes makes moves based on only a fragmented memory of the pieces. So these are the reasons why last part, last part means end of the game, may be difficult. Question number 32, correct answer is E. 27, answer is D for doctor. 28, E for elephant. 29, F for fire. 30, B for boy. 31, H for house. And 32, E for electronic. That's it.